Hi everyone, I'm Misha Daniel from Innovative Learning and I'm going to show you today how to find that folder that's in your Google Classroom and add it to your Google Drive so you can have access to it from anywhere on any computer without having to go back into the classroom or to go to your shared with me. It's really easy. Let me show you how to do that. As you can see, I am in a Google Classroom and it appears that Innovative Learning has added an announcement. The announcement says that I'm supposed to add this folder, this Ocean Time folder, to my Google Drive. So that's what I'm going to do. So I click on the link, and it is going to actually take me to the folder that was put on, on uh, the classroom. And here's that folder and all the contents that are within that folder. Now from here, what I could do is it's going to show me who all the people are who it's been shared with. But over right here, there's three little dots, and those are more actions. Those are more things that you can do. So if I click on that, I, you can see I can add a, or do a lot of things here, but the one I really want is the Add to My Drive. So if I click on Add to My Drive, it's going to ask me, okay, where in my drive do I want to put it? Do I want to put it in a specific folder that I already have in my drive, or do I just want to put it in my drive? And I don't want to put it within another folder because then I might have a hard time finding it. So I'm just going to leave all of the options alone and click move. Now it says that Ocean Time has been moved to my drive. Well, we're going to we're going to find out. OK, so I'm actually going to go to my drive. OK, and I'm going to refresh this page because this was kind of like the previous version. So once I refresh it, I should be able to see the Ocean Time folder that I put into my drive. And there it is right there, Ocean Time. And if I click on it, and you'll see I am in my drive. I'm not in shared with me. I didn't go back to the classroom. It's in my drive. If I click right here, double click on it, there are all the documents that I have access to. Now, I can't do anything to these documents. I have a view only rights, which most of you will have as coaches from the instructional specialist. But because it's in your drive and because it's in my drive, I can make copies of what's in here and I can share those out with my teachers or with anyone that I wish. Okay, so once again, you just make sure you, you just add it to your drive. And then once it's in your Google Drive, it's like it's yours. And you only have view, view only right, so that means you can't you can't mess it up. You can't delete something out of there, and it's gonna it's gonna delete for everybody else. So that's that's a good thing, and that way now you'll have be able to have access. And anytime one of the specialists puts something within that folder, it'll you'll have access to it immediately. And though of course they're putting those announcements, you're not always gonna have to go into your classroom anymore. You can just you can just go straight to your Google Drive and look for those those documents or those folders that they've put in there for you. If you have any other questions, you can always contact me at Innovative Learning. I'm at 434-0688. Uh, you can also contact your, the other instructional specialists. Uh, we're always here to help you, and I hope you have a really great day. Bye-bye.